It is hard to imagine today that these silent temple ruins may once have been filled with such magical machinery, performing what looked like miracles to an awestruck audience. These were huge temples, some of the wealthiest and the most splendid in the ancient world. Heron's automatic inventions would have added further to the sheer sense of splendor and awe that any worshipper would have experienced. Heron had one more money-making device for the temple priests, one which would allow worshippers to think they were talking with the gods, but which was in fact much more dishonest. This is the omen machine. One of the reasons for going to a temple was to find out what the future might hold, and ancient peoples were happy to pay for a glimpse of things to come. Someone coming into a temple which was equipped with one of these devices would not of course see all the workings. As they walked into the gloom of the interior, they would just see this wheel and a mechanical bird. After paying a suitable fee, they could ask the god a simple yes or no question. Turn the wheel and the bird would either sing or not. The god had spoken. Of course, it was not the gods who had made this bird sing, but Heron. Inside the mechanism, a series of cogs, ropes and pulleys made the bird sing when the wheel was turned. A simple cog attached to the inside of the device could then be disengaged, perhaps by a priest, to silence the bird if the other answer was required. Singing gave one answer, not singing the other. The priests could choose which was most appropriate. It is the oldest mechanical confidence trick in the world. And the wonderful bird song? Just a cup attached to a warbling whistle being lowered into a tank of water. <laughs> 